hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time here my name is Hanna and I mostly post plus size fashion content with a little bit of beauty and uh, just sort of general lifestyle stuff sprinkled in but mostly fashion and uh, makeup and things like that so if that sounds interesting I hope you will subscribe and stick around today I wanted to uh, talk about my recent recent-ish <laughs> ASOS purchases because um, I feel like plus size fashion is not doing that great at the moment uh, I feel like we've sort of taken a step backwards a lot of creators um, a lot of other creators have talked about this uh, I will link below a video by uh, Becky Reynolds who's one of my favorite youtubers she talked about this in her recent video Another person who talked about this was Felic Felicity Hayward uh, on Instagram, uh, I'll link her below as well. But yeah, Plus Size Fashion is not doing great at the moment and ASOS has been the place where I shop a lot. I, I, uh, the majority, I would say, of my clothing is from ASOS, uh, or a very big part at least. and. Um, I feel like they haven't been doing so well uh, either, uh, but I do have some cute things and I wanted to sort of rate them and let me let you know my thoughts. This is not like a super recent haul. Uh, all of these things I have bought are around like Black Friday last year or like some of them even earlier. So. Some of them might still be in stock, and if they are, I will definitely link them. But more so, I just want to comment on what's what's still good at ASOS. So, in, in terms of plus size clothing. So, yeah, uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments where you are shopping for plus size clothing at the moment. And uh, your thoughts on, on any of these items. My dogs they just have to do this every time I'm filming so first I have this uh, suit which um, I got way back in I think September last year or something like that uh, so it is pink it's very Barbie and um, I really like this suit, uh, it makes me feel kind of powerful and like a badass bee. <laughs> yeah, I actually wore this to a conference in October and I got a lot of compliments. So uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this uh, suit because I don't think I've showed it uh, other than in like a short. Definitely a statement uh, piece, but I do love that they have these kind of options for uh, plus size. And like I said, if they're, if these things are still available, I will link them. And I will also put the sizes on the screen because I can't remember uh, all the sizing. But yeah, if you see this suit or something similar from um, the brand, um, I would recommend it. The brand is Urban Threads. And I'm just wearing it over this like lace bodysuit, but obviously in a workplace setting I would wear <laughs> something else. Okay, next I have this dress. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to actually give my rating for that pink suit, so I would rate that 9 out of 10. I think that's a really nice one. Uh, and I have worn it like multiple times and uh, it's it's good. <laughs> uh, next I have this dress that I got from their Black Friday sale. Um, again it's definitely more of like a statement color. It is a very 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 bright uh, almost like a neon green. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can uh, tell from the camera um, but it's very bright and uh, when I originally posted, I posted this on my TikTok and Instagram 
uh, when I got it. Uh, I got this from the Black Friday sale, I'm not sure if I said that already. <laughs> but um, people really didn't like this dress <laughs> because they said that the material looks cheap and horrible. But I think that was partly because of the... It was like December, so the lighting wasn't great. And it was really wrinkly. Uh, now I have ironed it. I think it's still a little bit... Um, like I may have to steam it. I just recently got like a steamer. So I'm going to try that. But the fabric is challenging, definitely. But I just love the color. I think it's fun and I kind of love the length. It's like a midi dress. Um, yeah, it's a satin material. And uh, my issue with this dress is, and this definitely brings down the rating, is this cutout here. Because this is a very challenging place for a cutout if you want to wear a bra. And then again, this part is kind of loosey-goosey. So you don't really have any support, so you have to wear something underneath. You can't go like braless, at least if you have a bigger bust. So my solution would be to do like, do it in this way, uh, like wearing, I'm wearing the lace bodysuit underneath. I also have a black one that I think might work, but yeah, it is unfortunate. Maybe in the summer you could wear it with like a bikini top underneath. I'm not sure about that because it's kind of a dressy dress. But yeah, this is from the ASOS brand. And because the cutout is kind of tricky, uh, I would give this a 7 out of 10, I think. And it also kind of highlights all, the, all your lumps and bumps because it's this satin material. So, yeah, if you have a smaller bust and you can get away with wearing this without a bra, then go for it if it's still available. But otherwise, mm, maybe not. So this is the next dress and I also got this from the Black Friday sale. Uh, but obviously I haven't worn it because it's been winter <laughs> and it's a very summery dress. This again has beautiful bright colors and I really like the style. The, especially on the top, like the whole sort of boho sleeve and the uh, tie in the front, or like the bow here. Um, yeah, I really like that kind of style. Uh, I would wish for the skirt part to flare out a little bit more because this feels like it's a little bit too curve hugging for this type of dress because it doesn't have any stretch and in a non-stretch fabric I would prefer a looser fit, like a more flowy fit. But yeah, otherwise I think it's a, it's a nice dress. Uh, I'm not sure what the material is. I feel like this will be kind of breath breathable. It doesn't feel like horribly like sweaty type of material for the summer so uh, so that's good um, yeah um, I do like this I would give it a 7.5 out of 10 I absolutely adore this next dress and I can't wait for it to be warm enough to wear this uh, this is a midi dress I also got it around uh, Black Friday this is like a very silky and stretchy material. It's like, um, uh, it's not ruched, but like, uh, is it plissé? Um, the word I'm looking for <laughs> is the word I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, it's very stretchy, very comfortable. Uh, I do love the fact that it's like a black background, but the flowers on it are very bright. I feel like the neckline is super flattering on me. Uh, it has some negative reviews because some people don't like, um, or they think that there's too much cleavage, but I don't mind that. Um, yeah, this is very cute. Only tiny thing, I wish it was just a little bit shorter because I am quite tall, but definitely very cute for the summer 
you can always wear like little biker shorts underneath so you don't have to worry about accidentally flashing someone or getting like chafing in your inner thighs when it's hot outside so that always solves the short dress problem at least for me so yeah this is very cute I give this 10 out of 10. This is another dress that I really like uh, it's a beautiful print almost like a painting uh, it's another satin dress but this is this one is I would say the fabric is nicer than the green one this is not like wrinkled in the same way um, yeah this is very beautiful the only thing is that it's a bit too large on the top uh, but I think that if it fits perfectly on the top it would be too tight on the lower part because it's perfect it like flows uh, over my curves really nicely it's, like skims them so the sizing is a bit awkward but obviously I don't care that much because I still kept it <laughs> so um, I will really look forward to styling this and wearing this in the summer I think it's nice it's fun it's kind of tropical so yeah I'm really into this dress only because of the sizing issues I'll give it let's say 8.5 out of 10 it's it's pretty good okay finally I have this red dress and this is another one that I think it's really nice and it was really affordable. There was a really good discount uh, for this dress and I have actually worn this on uh, a anniversary trip that I took with my husband um, in December when we had our wedding anniversary. So we took a little trip uh, to uh, Eastern Finland um, it was really nice, it was like a winter wonderland kind of uh, experience. I did film a short, I think, about that, or a reel, something like that. Uh, I will link that uh, if you're interested, but I wore this when we went out to dinner one night, and yeah, I thought this is very sexy, it's very curve-hugging, but it's nice, like stretchy, almost like a it's like a jersey material, so really nice. I like the asymmetrical hem, and I like the neckline, because it's this kind of material, it's super comfortable. So yeah, this one, no complaints, 10 out of 10. So to answer the question, does ASOS still have cute plus size stuff? They do, but um, you really have to sort of search for it and uh, the materials and the fit can be a little bit off so yeah it's basically kind of trial and error uh, at the moment but I th still think it's one of the best places to, to shop especially if you're in Europe we don't have that many op options we don't have Torrid or uh, any of those sort of like plus size uh, specialty stores so yeah, um, hopefully things will get better, Things will, we will get a little bit more options and al also like more high quality fabrics and so on. Uh, but yeah, at the moment I do agree with other creators who have talked about this. It's kind of slim pickings <laughs> for um, plus size fashion at the moment, but yeah, we just have to ask, especially us as, as creators who are active on social media, we just have to sort of let brands know what we want and what we like, and hopefully they will listen to us. <laughs> um, yeah, but there are still some cute things, uh, you can find them, and uh, hopefully through these videos I can provide some insight into uh, what things are worth it and what uh, are maybe not. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!